Hello there, you're watching Dansky, the place to be to develop your creative skills and grow as a designer. In this tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at the background eraser tool in Adobe Photoshop. So I've got a photo here of a woman. Now the background eraser tool is particularly useful when you're trying to cut out hair. So what we're going to do is take this photograph here and we're going to effectively remove the grey background and then we're going to be able to lay in a background colour of our choice. So effectively the woman will be on a transparent background. So to start with we have our layer here, our background layer that is locked. We can double click this and we'll call this woman. And then in the layers palette create a new layer and just drag this underneath. Now if you select the fill tool on the left and just select a nice bright colour. It doesn't matter which colour it is as long as it's nice and bright because when we remove this background the bright colour will show through and it makes it much easier to see which bits we've cut out successfully. So let's fill this layer 1 with our bright colour and we'll call this awesome bright colour if I could spell. There we go. So now let's select our woman layer above and just left click and hold on the eraser tool and select background eraser tool. Now you can adjust the size of the brush by using these square brackets, that's the left and right square brackets. So the left square bracket reduces the size and the right square bracket increases the size. So that's very handy for working on something quickly just to be able to change the size of your brush. And you've got a few different settings here. We want to select the middle one. So the sampling is once. So because our background is all pretty much one color or very close to one color, when we sample this color, we want to only remove this color. So we don't want to remove any of the skin tones, the purple from the dress or anything else. We just want to sample this gray background and remove that one color. You can select some other options like continuous sampling that will continuously sample from wherever you select but that will cut into our photo here and we don't want that. We just want to literally take out the background. So let's select sampling once, limits contiguous, that's fine. Protect foreground color, so that box is selected. The tolerance, this is one bit that may need a little bit of experimenting. So what the tolerance is, if you have your tolerance set very low, say 5% or 10%, it will be much more strict in what it cuts out, what part of the image it removes. If your tolerance is set very high, for example 50 or 60%, it will remove the background, but it may also remove parts of the image. So let me just demonstrate that. So if we select our tolerance as 5, and we'll left click anywhere on the grey to sample this colour, You'll see that it removes this and our yellow background shows through. But there's still quite a lot of grey left that it isn't removing. In fact, it's doing a very poor job of actually cutting out the hair. So we need to adjust that. So again, conversely, let's go up to 60%. So we've set it a lot higher. We'll left click to sample the grey background that we want to remove. And you can see that we've set it now too high and it actually tries to remove parts of the image. So if we set this to 30%, and this may take a bit of trial and error just to find the right tolerance depending on your image. But once you get the tolerance right, you can left click on the grey or your background colour and just drag, holding that left click down, not letting go and you can drag over your image, in particular around the hair and the skin, and you'll see that it cuts it out very, very well indeed, considering I'm doing this in literally 10, 20 seconds. So it's more about getting in the detail around the hair. You can zoom in as you need to and adjust the tolerance for different parts and you can actually spend quite a lot of time doing this. I'm just doing this very quickly to illustrate how to use this tool. So there we go, we've done most of the work. 
we can now left click and hold and select the eraser tool and just use that to finish off any loose ends. So the background eraser tool is particularly good for cutting around things like hair very, very specifically. And then we can just go and use the standard eraser tool just to get rid of all these other bits over here. So now we can see how well we've cut this out by our yellow background. We can zoom in a bit. And we can see that it's done a pretty good job of cutting around all those little strands of hair, which would have taken us hours. And if we select our awesome bright color layer, we can press Command U on the Mac or Control U on the PC to bring up our hue and saturation options. And we can adjust the hue and change that color to anything that we like. You can increase the lightness to have that as white or all the way down to black. Or what you can do is simply deselect this layer and you'll see that we now have our woman cut out on a transparent background. And we could even lay a photograph or blur a background behind there. We can do anything now that we have her on a transparent background. And there we go. That's how we can use the background eraser tool in Adobe Photoshop. As always, guys, please feel free to leave any questions or comments below. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Take care and I'll see you next time.